We are going to make a puppet to use at circle time today. So it was my idea that you could first make your puppet and then you could join me for circle time because they're the main character kind of in, the, in this book is a frog. Um, so you can use a wide range of materials. I always like to use a piece of cardboard for an art tray. So if you're painting or gluing, all your mess can be contained onto a piece of cardboard. So ultimately, if you wanted to make a frog puppet, you're gonna have this paper plate and you're gonna fold it. So this will look like the frog's face and this will be its mouth. So I think I'm going to, I'll make my puppet, my puppet after I've kind of shown you some ideas. But I thought I would do green and red and paint his face green and the inside of his mouth red. But you can do whatever you want. If you don't want a green frog, you can do an orange frog. You could do a purple frog. You could do a polka dotted frog. Or if you didn't want to use paint or if you don't have any paint at home, um, you could do a collage. So this would be a great way for you to do your fine motor skills and practice some cutting. I know some of my almost three-year-olds have been doing this and practicing this at CKH. So you can just, you know, make some snips, make, you know, what you do, <clears throat> practice your cutting. Usually I'll give them a strip of paper and they can just <clears throat> snip. So kids, you can do this and then you could make a collage on your frog. You could cover the surface with your pieces that you just cut. Could be all kinds of different colors. You can mix them around, you know, try and fill in as much space as you can, or you can leave some white space, however you want to do it. And then when you fill the surface here, you'll turn it over, and this will be his little mouth. If you want to create a tongue for him, you can. Um, I'm going to put in a party blower for the frog's tongue. That's going to be on my puppet. But if you don't have one of these at home from a party that you've had recently, you can just twirl a red piece of paper around a marker. So it kind of looks like his tongue when he tries to catch all of his bugs and flies that he likes to eat. So it could kind of look like, oh, <laughs> like this again, his little tongue hanging out. And if you wanted to make some eyes, you could make some eyes with your egg carton. Again, using some of these materials at home that you have hanging around. before you make your visit to the transfer station. And they could be, so they could stay on top like this. Or if you wanted to cut them apart and make them separate and have them more spaced apart, you could color them in. So yeah, anyway, you wanna make your little frog puppet. So I'm hoping you will do this with me and then you can join me in the next clip and we'll use our frog puppets together to do our book and our songs. See you then.